Yeah, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good, good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to the After the Class Talk November series, episode six, celebrating International Day for Tolerance, strengthening mutual understanding among cultures and people. First of all, I would like to say happy International Tolerance Day for all of us. And to Tolerance Day is a United Nations observance and is celebrated on 16 November every year since 1996. The diversity of our world's many religions, languages, cultures, and ethnicity is not a pre is not a pretext for conflicts, but it but it is a tracer that enriches us all. In this episode, there will be a sharing sessions from the international students on how important the tolerance in diversity is. And my name is Memphis Apani, and I will be the moderator for today. So thank you very much for joining us today. And I would like to welcome our distinguished guest, Director of Strategic Partnership and International Office, Ibu Lia Yodinawati, STMM. Good afternoon. Hello, good afternoon, Ibu. And also our Manager of International Office. Okay, good afternoon, Ibu Lia. And the Manager of International Office, Ibu Indah Fajarwati. Good afternoon, Ibu Indah. And also the Assistant Manager of International Mobility, Ibu Lia Maria. Good afternoon, Ibu Lia. Good afternoon. Yes, and also I would like to welcome our speakers. We have Ilham Muhammad Nizar. Hello, man. From Indonesia. Hello, yeah. Ilham. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you. And okay, then also we have uh, Fatulov, Hikmatulov from Tajikistan. Hello, Hello. Fatulov Tima. How are you? Good afternoon. You, How are you, man? I'm good. Thank you. And also we have Anastasia Soroka from Ukraine. Hi, Hello, everyone. Anastasia. Hello. Hello, how are you, Anastasia? I'm fine, thank you. And also we have Cesaltino. Great. And also we have Cesaltino Sarmento Suarez from Timor Leste. Hello, Hello Miss. Hello, everyone. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. And also, last but not least, we have we have Sophie Rikers from the Netherlands. Hello, Sophie. Hi. How are you, Sophie? I'm fine. How are you? Great. I'm fine. Thank you. Thank you for joining us. Yes. And also, I would like to welcome all the international students and also our students from Indonesia. Hello, everyone, and welcome. The after class talk is more than a chit chat program. It will be a place for exchanging culture and sharing experience. So in this program, we will have an open discussion. So all of you can freely ask a questions to each other. And now we would like to tell you the rules of this event. Yes. So, so first, uh, all the participants are kindly sent off the microphone during the uh, presentation session. And you might turn on the microphone on the discussion session. And all the participants kindly turn on the camera during the uh, presentation or during this event. For those who want to ask a question to the speaker, kindly drop the question on the chat box or you also can ask the question directly to the speaker by uh, using the direction feature on the uh, on your zoom uh, room using the thumbs up on the reaction and also you can turn on the microphone to ask a questions to the speaker and also there will be a door prize during this session so you may join all of uh, the games and also the questions yeah, during this session. So to celebrate and to know how much do you really know about Tolerance Day, 
international tournaments day so we will have a warming up games first we have kahoot games here as usual and also there will be a prize or a door prize for the winner so please open the web kahoot.it and you can enter the pin Yes. The game pin is, is 474 so and then enter the game pin. Four seven four two five eight five. So we have 43 participants here. Okay, the first question is, when is the International Day for Tolerance celebrated every year? Very easy question. Yes. You have to consider about the time as well, yeah? The past Yes. It should be today, yeah? No, from and, and we have Teja is on the top. So second question, International Day for Tolerance were celebrated in the year blah, blah, blah by the United Nations General Assembly. As well. so it's a I think I already mentioned it in the beginning. Yes, the answer is 1996. I think I have mentioned it before. And now Tima is leading. Okay, next. Number three. There are some issues that international day for tolerance addresses. Except... Yes, peace. So let's see who's leading. And now Ilham is leading. 
Great, next. Okay, number four, which of the following is a way to counter intolerance? Yes, the answer is all the above answer. And now, I think, yeah, it's still Ilham. Okay, it's leading. And the last question. Okay, what does tolerance mean? Yes, so the answer is tolerance is harmony in difference. So let's see who's the winner. In the third place, we have Tima. Second place, we have Sophie. And our winner today is Elka. Okay, these are the speakers for today, yeah? Okay, congratulations for Ilham. Yes, congratulations once again to Ilham. And you got the uh, 100,000 rupees in the form of e-money. You can send us your number later, yeah, Ilham? So now, I would like to invite the students who will share their opinion regarding tolerance and how important the tolerance in their country is. So for the first speaker, we have Fatulov Hikmatulov. So, uh, or we can call him Tima from Tajikistan. And he is a student of Telkom University majoring international ICT. So please welcome Tima. Okay, hello everybody. Hello. Hello, man. Yeah, okay. I hope everyone doing great. So for today's speech, I would like to share uh, that I met a PPT about a tolerance in my country. So let me share my PowerPoint on the screen. Sure. Hello? Can you see? Yes, we can see. Yes. Mm -hmm. But I think you should make it full screen. Yeah, I'm trying now. Is it clear now? Yes. No, it's still. I think you should make it. Yeah, I think it's okay, Tima, with this display. Okay. So I would like to introduce, first of all, my name. I, my friends actually call me Tima, but my full name yeah, in my passport, it's Fatullah Fikmatullah. And I'm from Tajikistan. And it's the flag of my country, which starts with the red. In the middle, it's white and there is a star. And at the end, at the third line, it's green. 
So it has all of them as a meaning for the red is like getting peace from the civilian war. For the white, it's like peace and all the all the stuff is here is the seven days and we get like a history, like seven brothers for the seven years because we were in a civilian war. And the green one is for green and the mountains and that's like that. So we move to the next page here. So the first of all, I would like to talk about a religion in my country because we are <clears throat> very special in this thing and we are more famous here. That's why the, many people know about the Tajikistan. So the rest, three kind of religion. First of all, is Islam. Second one is Christians and third one is Hindu. But mostly all the people's religion are Islam there. 89% of them and 10% is Christian and 1% is Hindu. We got still Christian because we were there back under the Russian circumstances, or we can say in Bahasa Indonesia, Pecahan Rusia. That's why there are still many people who are living from, from Russia or from the like USSR people, though their religion are Christians, or a Hindu because we before we Many Hindus were living in Tajikistan and we are like speaking a bit still same with the Hindu people. That's why all the people are still living in Hindu. So we move to the next. Next one is about it on conscience and religious education. The tolerance in my country for the government is really tough government system. The, said, uh, the second one is a public and religious education. The third one is institution of religious education. <clears throat> Even though in my country, uh, the most people got like Islamic religion, but our government system is really tough because if you are still under 18, you cannot go like make praying in the mosque or you cannot go and make a public and religious education. It's just allowed in like Friday prayer. So just once a week, Imam will tell you about a thing. So it's really a tolerance that all the people should like accept and should lead all uh, should follow all the construction that has been given by the government so the right now institution of religious education so if you want like to go and read or learn about islamic things so you have to go out of the country to learn about it because it's not allowed in my country to learn about it <clears throat> even though yeah mostly people are islam in there but before we got like a madrasa something like that to learn about more about a religious thing in Islamic, but for now, yeah, in this century, it's already all of them is exposed and it's, uh, and there are no existence anymore about Islamic thing. Why our government system is really tough because before <clears throat> was a history and a civil war about it uh, in 1991 to 1993, but uh, after that, all the like religious education has been forbidden there and institution for religious education also has been like canceled and rejected by the government to follow all the rules that has been leading by the government because of that it's uh, all the peoples are already uh, in this position uh, they are already good in these tolerances so they are still following so we move here about a tradition and culture in my country. We got a very special day, which is called Nowruz, or we can tell it like a Tajik's New Year, which is which celebrated in 21st and 22nd of March each year. So on that day, we will like make a special cousins and we play like traditional games. Special though in Nowruz, it has a really long story, which has been started from the fifth or sixth century back there, from the king of Jamshed, which has been leading for the Tajiks and Iron. He was a king and he made like a special day, which is called Navruz. It means a new day. Actually, many people in Tajikistan, they celebrate this day as a new year because <clears throat> they really appreciate this day. They make even though the special cousin, which is called Sumanak, to make that one, they make like beans make it beans and it takes around two weeks to make that happen and after that it uh, they will cook it all the neighborhood or relatives will be like gathering and cooking the special coven which is will be ready in a, in one day so it takes 24 hours to cook that one that's why it as it cooked uh, just once in a year 
So uh, during making a special causing, we make like a traditional game, which we use the stones or we use the chalk to play in the field. All the people, not actually the teenagers or adults, but the child or the children will go out during cooking at the night. They will like playing traditional games, as we can say, maybe, uh, for example, it's like hide and seek. They, <clears throat> they celebrate it and they will like make it more fun to get more to make it a very special day for all the Tajik's people. So next we go to social status. Respect all the social status. There are two respect all people in government system. And the second one is a police and military are number one in my country. Why? Because after we, we have been out of under Russian circumstances, the first job that we have done after we got independence, all the people who work after it, it was uh, they were from the government. That's why all the people really respect government. Really, if the government makes any rules, so the P, all the people will follow directly about the rules. They are never going to be like, a, as we can say, it's like a making like meeting or something they never do it because the government really appreciate all the people and people also appreciate them back that's why respect along people and government system is really tough and it's really uh or i can say it's more polite police and military are number one why because the police uh our people think that police and military are number one to defend all the people in the country and all, all the people cannot go, cannot go to, to be in a military or to be a police. The minimum height should be 182 or 180. It's minimum to be a police or a military. That's why the police and military are really respected by the people in Tajikistan. And all the system has been made it because the police and military also is like leading under the government system because of that all the peoples are really happy to make this uh, like a tolerance and respecting all the rules or all the workers with they get a job in a police only stations. so that was all i guess what i wanted to share with you guys and thank you very much if you have any question you can drop there or you can directly ask me thank you Yes, thank you very much, Tima, for your sharing. So oh, yeah. for all the participants, if you have any questions to the speaker, you may directly drop the, qu the questions on the chat box, or you may also ask the questions directly to the speaker by turning on your microphone on our discussion session later. And uh, also we will choose one of the best questions from the participant to get the uh, door prize. So uh, make sure you uh, join our discussion sessions. Okay, thank you, Tima. And also now we will have our second speaker. We have Sophie and Rikers from the Netherlands. She was an exchange student of Stockholm University from the Stockholm University of Applied Science, Netherlands. So please welcome Sophie. Hey everyone. Hi Sophie. So I also made a PowerPoint, so maybe I can share it. Sure. How are you Sophie? Sorry, what did you say? Uh, how are you? Oh, I'm fine. <laughs> how are you? So what time is it in the Netherlands? I'm good, thanks. What time is it in the Netherlands? Um, it's 8.30 in the morning. At uh, 8 30. Okay. So I'm trying to show my screen, but I don't know. You can use the share screen feature. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Did you find this share screen button? Yes, I found it. Yes, and then you you just choose the documents that you want to share. Um, okay. Mm -hmm. 
Or do you need a help? Maybe you can send your PowerPoint to us and I'll... Oh, yeah, that will be good. I'm going to help. Uh, sorry, I can't find it. Um, so to which email can I send it? Uh, you may send via WhatsApp as well. Uh, yes, I can. Okay, while waiting for your PPT, is it okay if you share for the next? Uh... Okay, wait. You have this time, TPPT? Sorry, what did you say? Have you sent your PowerPoint on the uh, website? Yeah. It's uh, on the WhatsApp. Right now. Or Sopi, if you don't mind. We are going to listen from the other students first, and then after that, your turn. Is it okay? Oh, yeah, that's fine. Okay, great. So while waiting for your uh, SOPI presentation, now we would like to hear the sharing from uh, our students from Indonesia. We have Ilham Muhammad Nizar here. He is a Telkom University student majoring in international ICT, as well as a captain of International Office Students Body Club or ISBC. So please welcome Ilham. Okay, thank you, Bupati. I will share on my screen. Can you see my screen, man? Yes, sir. Okay. Okay, uh, first of all, let me introduce myself. My name is Ilham Muhammad Ezar, and I'm currently studying in Tarkum University in my last year. Okay, so today, uh, for celebrating the Tolerance Day, I will present about the tolerance in Indonesia, strengthening mutual understanding among culture and people. Okay. Uh, first of all, uh, I want to uh, tell you about the Indonesian first. Indonesia is diversity. Why? Because there are over 600 ethnic groups, such as um, Sundanese, Padanganese, Balinese, and many ethnic, ethnic groups. Also, we have 700 uh, languages, uh, local languages, uh, such as Sundanese, uh, Japanese, and many other local languages. And also, there are six recognized uh, religion and other local beliefs in Indonesia. Okay, uh, next uh, is the Tolerance of Indonesian. Uh, first of all, is uh, non-Muslim celebrate the Ramadan. Uh, uh, as you can see, if you have already through your uh, Ramadan Indonesia, there are also the non-Muslim who also do the fasting. Also, when the Muslim uh, hold the um, break fasting together, and also the non-Muslim also join the break fasting together, and many other uh, celebrate the non-Muslim also during the celebration of Ramadan. Next is also another question help uh, preparing for Christmas. Uh, as you know, if the in the in the December, in the end of the year, uh, the Christian will have uh, the Christmas and also um, the there will uh, preparation like uh, building a Christmas tree and also decorate the uh, their houses for the Christmas. And also, uh, usually uh, in Indonesia, like uh, many people also help the Christian to building like uh, the Christmas tree or decorate their houses. And the last one is the Youth Union from East Ethnic Corporate to the Independence. Uh, back then in the 19th century, uh, before the independence of Indonesia, uh, there are so many youth unions such as Jong Java from the Java, Jong Sulawesi from the Sulawesi. They will unite it to. Uh, as a youth to get the Independence Day. This is also the, the form of the tolerance in Indonesia. The, this is a sample of the tolerance in Indonesia, which is the Muslim who help the preparation for the Christmas. Okay, uh, next is, uh, um, this is the my tolerance experience. Uh, see, uh, since I joined 
the Tatum University and the 2017. First of all, this is my classmates. Uh, they are uh, from a different background, they are from a different um, region, province. So they, uh, in, uh, with their differences, I learned about the tolerance. And this is my club or my organization like now is SBC. Uh, this club is bringing me a big change of the of our of my view how I uh, face the um, differences such as I met the new people I met the new um, people for inside Indonesia or even outside Indonesia and many more. Um, this is uh, my tolerance experience with Indonesia who visit Indonesia. This is um when we have an event uh, when uh, the ramadan the person together which is uh this are from uh, also the student from netherlands and also the student from the malaysia and in this event it's not only muslim who have a fasting and we have also non-muslim who have a fasting and do the break, break the fasting together and next this is the my uh my job was when I was assisting my uh, my friend from Malaysia student when they have a student short course program here, and I this is the first time when I met uh, the Malaysian uh, in person, and I got uh, some of the unique things that I haven't met before, such as like when I when I the first time when I met the. Muslim woman of the Malaysian, Malaysian and and I when I was greeted to her and I want I want to have a a handshake with her and they directly refuse it because uh, they don't have a blood relation with me so this is actually the differences that that really uh, that I haven't met before so. From that, uh, I can learn about the tolerance and respect to their, their faith. And next, this is my uh, experience when I was visit Bali with my Malaysian friends from the next chance last year. As you can see, I use the uh, the purple fabric and also my friend is the orange fabric. This is the mandatory uh, rule from the temple because I was visited the sacred place. That's why, that's why uh, uh, we have to respect the role from where I where we belong. And this is the my experience uh, when I have lunch with my friends from Malaysia. Also, uh, I uh, we share a lot of things like such as uh, um, like, uh, the culture, the how they um, how they live in Indonesia when they have a Indonesian fear and many more. Um, next is my tolerance experience when I'm in Indonesia. This is my experience when I visit um, Japan uh, last February um, when I joined the short course program at the Kumamoto University. Um, there are a lot of things that I learned from the Japan. Uh, actually, like uh, well, when they meet the new people also, well, they already meet the, their friend. They will also, they will uh, do the little bow, like this is how they give the respect to the people. And that's very good, I think, and, and I can learn it from them. And also uh, uh, on how they uh, uh, be grateful when they have, uh, they want to eat, like when they want to eat something, they will say, itadakimas. Uh, it will. Uh, uh, it means uh, they they really get full with, with the food and they will really get with, with really grateful with uh, what they already have. And also from this uh, program, I am not on from. I met so many new friends such as from the Philippines, Vietnam, Thailand, Cambodia, Nepal, also Indonesian. And from that uh, differences, I can uh, learn so many values of the tolerance. And from all of this, my experiences, uh, I can conclude that uh, the differences is uh, there is no excuse for the intolerance because uh, in the different differences, 
uh, you can uh, be so uh, very tolerant to the others, and that, and being tolerant is very good. I think that that's all for me. Uh, if you have any question, you can ask me directly and drop on the chat section. And also, if you have um, uh, experiences, you can also share it. Thank you. Yes, thank you very much, Ilham, for the sharing. It's a it's a very insightful sharing from you. And now we're back to Sophie. Yes. Yes. So, hi, Sophie. So we're going to help you share the screen. Yes. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Uh, so, let's start off with international death tolerance in the Netherlands. So, you can go to the next slide. Yes. So the tolerance in the Netherlands, of course, goes with uh, multicultural. Uh, a quick walk through the streets of Amsterdam shows you just how multicultural she is. From Surinamese restaurants to Moroccan vegetables and fruit shops to Italian pla pizza places and a lot of Asian restaurants. Uh, there are also nightclubs, coffee shops and brothels scattered all around the city. So as Amsterdamers go about their everyday business like it's nothing. This is one of the best traits of the Dutch, the spirit of live and let live, or simply put, the Dutch tolerance. Unfortunately, after years of building a reputation as a very tolerant country, tolerance has come under threat due to rhetorics of a group of right-wing politicians who mask their racism and bow to with their so-called respectability of traditional Dutch values. They claim to support the Dutch populace, populace and traditional European values, but threatening the very thing that makes the Netherlands stand out in a positive way, her tolerance. Uh, so you can go to the next slide. Uh, the Dutch have always been free thinkers, liberals and a tolerant folks. A great deal of historical evidence proves that in the 17 countries, the Dutch golden age, the Dutch Republic was the only country which freedom of conscience was enshrined in the law, resulting in an influx of refugees of all possible religious backgrounds. Uh, so the next slide. Um, the Dutch concept of tolerance is one that is as old as, old as time. It dates back to the end of the 80 years war. After Willem of Orange had just been crowned king and as a Protestant monarch, decided to let the Catholic minority have the freedom to practice their faith as they saw, as they saw fit. It was all in the spirit of live and let live. This only not led to a foundation for tolerance in the Netherlands, but it also planted, this, planted the seeds that would grow over time to become the identity of a nation that would approve of gay marriage, legalization of self drug and even prostitution. Uh, yes, so next slide. Um, just like every other European country, the Netherlands also went through a period of industrialization, a period when machines replaced manpower and steams and James became the order of the day. Factories sprang up everywhere as the owners were in dire need of workers to mend the engines. This led to Dutch recruit traveling to distant lands such as Turkey and Morocco in search of workers. Years have passed and the first generation of migrant workers from Morocco and Turkey have probably all died, but their children still reside in the Netherlands as Dutch citizens. And why not? Their forefathers helped and played a crucial role in building this nation and making her what she is today. A few Dutch natives still see them as guests and while a lot of them make sure to keep it within that thought, some politicians like Geert Wilders are not awaken their biography by asking them if they want few Americans or not. His reason for doing is that he sees the American community as the cause of the rising crime in different parts of the country. Of course, this is a really of course, this is a really weird way of thinking in the Netherlands and is not approved here. The truth is, the crim crim criminality in the Netherlands and honesty, crime has no nationality, color of sign or ethnic group. People commit crimes for different reasons and just as there are criminals with, it, with American ethnicity, there are also criminals with Dutch ethnicity. Uh, yes, so the next slide. Um, 
So the dish tolerance is quite popular and is very much talked about in countries like the US, Australia, and Canada. A lot of countries look up to the Netherlands as an example when it comes to promoting religious freedom, free speech, gay-friendly community, and separation of church and state. Cities like Amsterdam, Rotterdam, Utrecht, Eindhoven pride themselves as multicultural cities where people of all color and ethnic background are accepted with open arms. I once asked a five-year-old Dutch boy what his favorite food was, and he said bami and nasi. The funny thing is that, of course, bami and nasi aren't typical Dutch delicacies. They are, of course, Asians, but they're integrated into the fabric of Dutch society and is deeply ingrained that it's very loved here. Uh, at Dutch schools, children from Muslim, Christian, and atheist homes are able to study side by side in the same class, of course. Some are even best friends and are thought to be tolerant and be there for one another. Uh, they are thought that judging others based on their religious, religious beliefs of color of skin is called discrimination. If they misjudge a fellow human being, let it be based on nothing but the content of their character. It is no surprise that Dutch children understand the true meaning of tolerance at a very young age because of this. So there was a presentation about the tolerance in the Netherlands. If there are any questions, you, uh, you may ask them. Great. Yes, thank you very much. So it is a very impressive presentation and also sharing. So uh, we have heard the sharings from our three speakers so far, and it's really interesting. So we would like to invite all the participants who may have a questions. You can directly ask the questions to the speaker using the thumbs up. Uh, icons or uh, feature on the reaction sessions, or you can drop the questions on the chat box. So we are waiting for the um, questions. So do you have any questions? For all the participants, you can use thumbs up on the reaction if you have a questions and you can turn on your microphone. You can directly ask the questions to our three speakers here or you can also ask the questions to other two speakers and also other participants. Yes. Is there any questions? So you may use thumbs up if you want to ask directly to the speaker or you can drop the questions on the chat box and we will choose one of the best questions to get a door prize for today. Is there a question? So we have 60 participants here. Yeah, we're still waiting for the questions. You may drop your questions on the chat box or ask the questions directly to the speaker. Is there a question? Oh, we see Siri here. Hello, Siri, how are you? Yeah, hello, Boo. I'm very good. Yes, yeah. you got a question? Yeah, I Any think I have a, yeah, I have a question for Elf, uh, Ilham. Ilham is, yeah, yeah. about uh, yeah. regarding the tolerance in Indonesia. Uh, you know, I've seen the fact that Indonesia consists of very different uh, religion, ethnicity, and races, and uh, different backgrounds. And uh, my question is that, um, is there any kind of uh, special program or plan for, from the Indonesian government that uh, educate people to overcome the difference between, uh, uh, between those, uh, I mean, backgrounds? Okay. Uh, so- Yes, uh, Muhammad, you may yeah. answer. Yeah, okay, okay well. Um, from the government, I don't really know about it, but, but from the uh, people community, like uh, the community in some uh, province or region, they, uh, they also, they are also uh, so many um, uh, community, community that uh, uh, will educate the people about the, the importance of their, um, their tolerance, and how they cope with their differences. 
because the Indonesian also has some so big difference. And I think that's all that I know. But from where you come, I don't really know about it. Okay, okay. Thank yeah, you. okay. <laughs> Thank you for the answer, Elam. So I hope. Mm -hmm. Yes, I hope it answered the questions. Yes, Siri? Yes. <laughs> Okay, so um, we're waiting for another participant to join us in discussion sessions. You may ask the questions to all the speaker here. We have Sophie from Netherlands, Ilham from Indonesia, Tima from Tajikistan, Anastasia from uh, Ukraine, and also Cesatino from Timor Leste. Or if you are hesitant to ask directly to the speaker, you may drop the questions on the chat box. Okay, is there any other questions for the speaker? Okay, or we might invite another students to uh, ask the questions. We have Muhammad Nawfal. Hello, Muhammad Nawfal, are you there? Muhammad Nawfal? Okay, so while waiting for another question from the participants, we are going to hear another sharing from our two other speakers here. Yeah, we have Anastasia Soroka from the Ukraine and also we have, yeah, we have, and also we have Tessal Tino Soares from the Timor Leste. So first we, first we are going to listen from the students of Timor Leste, Cesaltino Sarmento Suarez. He is a Telkom University student majoring in international engineering. So please welcome Cesaltino. Okay, thank you, Miss, and good afternoon, everyone. Can I share my screen here? Sure. Can you see my screen? <clears throat> yes. Can you see my screen, right? Yes, we can see, you know. Okay. Uh, my name is Zaltino Sarmin Torres. I'm from Timor Leste and currently a student of Telcom University, majoring in industrial engineering. Uh, in last year, I studied in Telcom University. And today I also share about the, the same topic as the previous speakers has shared before. And the main topic is about the tolerance. Uh, and later on here, I would uh, come up with the common definition about the tolerance itself. And later on, I will share about the tolerance in our country and my own experience also. So as we all know that tolerance uh, is very important and everyone always talking about this topic and we have to know understand first about the tolerance itself. Uh, tolerance is the ability or willingness to tolerate the ex existence of opinions or behavior that one dislikes or disagree with. Uh, tolerance is a very objective or per uh, permissive attitude toward those whose opinions, practices, race, religion, nationality differ from one's own. And in this flower of tolerance uh, tells us how we can show our tolerance to our people. And in this flower, we can see that uh, we show them tolerance through our cooperation, uh, empathy, kindness, mercy, observing human rights, respect of other people, acceptance of diversity, readiness to help. And here also another uh, importance of tolerance, uh, which is especially important in relation with uh, people who have unusual, unusual looks, people of different religion and cultures, people of different age, people who have disabilities, people of different race and nationalities, weak, poor, and homeless people. And tolerance itself, where does the toler uh, tolerance start or begin? Tolerance starts at home our own home, then goes to the goes 
own in a group like uh, some organi some organization that we are including or groups uh, and also like an example like campus that we are studying in, and and us in a society that we are living in like our community communities and here are some tips how to be uh, to be a tolerant person the first is try to understand people live in accordance with human rights never judge people by their looks don't forget about po politeness live by joyful life don't quarrel respect growing up children elderly people help and pro protect the weak establish international links respect other cultures raising ideas and values share your energy money and time with people uh, after all roles and laws, read more literature, get educated, enjoy communicating with people, uh, stop, uh, do, uh, behave violently, rude and immoral. So in this slide, I will share about the tolerance in our country. Uh, in Timor-Leste, uh, since we got our independence day on 20 May 2002, uh, the relationship, uh, the relationship between Indonesia and also any other country uh, and our local residents actually runs harmoniously and has almost never experienced a class. And the problem, what is the problematic is the people who involved in political only, but about our people, there is no problem like discrimination or violence uh, against one another. And here you can see the, this picture is about the religion or the diversity in our country. Uh, in Timor-Leste, uh, we have several religions, like uh, six or seven like that. And although the population is uh, predominantly by Catholic religion, but I really admire for that charge of its religion, which has a great influence to the people. And each religion respect, uh, respect one another and lives in peace and harmony with, uh, with the societies. And also here is the, the picture about the disabilities in our country. Uh, our government also uh, take care for those who has uh, the disabilities and the people are respect and show them respect about what they have. Uh, they don't look about uh, the weakness of those people that uh, they have in their physical body. Uh, there is no judgment between one another. So there was a mutual respect with one another. And here is about the custom between one region, region because in Timor-Leste we use municipality, like in Indonesia we use province, uh, one province to another, like West Java and East Java like that. and. In Timor-Leste, we use municipalities only. We have uh, 13 municipalities. So each municipality have their own custom that represent to its, uh, uh, its municipality. And this become has, uh, this custom become the identity of its municipality to show the difference, difference between one municipality to another. Like here you can see uh, the custom that they were like, Ties. This name is a ties. We can call it ties. So, so the color of the ties is different to one another. So this is like the uniqueness from uh, its municip municipality that uh, has this uh, tradition clothes. And as I mentioned before, in our country, I have never experienced some problem regarding tolerance uh, between religion, race, or ethnicities, but only the politi politician people because uh, people who are involved in this political they have their own ideology so because of the different ideology uh, sometimes they have misunderstood one another but uh, what we have to know is our country is use democracy system so this is i think part of the democracy that we adopt and also I think in every country that use democracy system have the same uh, problem. And this is uh, also the problem that occurs about the tolerance uh, between the people 
I think there is no problem about it uh, about this. And this is, a, this is about my own experience. Uh, I, I would like to share some experience that first time I came to Indonesia, um, as we all know that Indonesia is the uh, majority of people is uh, Muslim. And when I came here for the first time uh, from, from the international office, bodies, they welcomed me uh, very friendly and also feel uh, very com uh, comfortable with this um, environment and circumstance that uh, in this campus area. And also from my classmates, uh, I have never uh, some experience that about intolerance, uh, tolerance, intolerance between me and any other like religion, race, or ethnicities. And also here, also I include in some lab in our uh, study program and also some organ organization that exist in Telkom University like uh, KMK, Keluarga Mahasiswa Katolik. Uh, I also become a member of this organization. And when some, like any other religion invite us to participate, to attend their like for their national celebration day or like any other activities in campus, they invite us, we all participate in their uh, event and there is no problem between us. And also like uh, travel to like last two couple of years ago, I also uh, went to Malaysia and Singapore about the EduTrip program with uh, Indonesian students and also any other students. Uh, of majoring industrial engineering, also ICT and telecommunication, but there is no problem between us. And the special moment when I was leaving dorm L Asrama getting L until now, there is no problem between us. Even there are many students from different countries, but we have never never ex uh, experienced some problem about this uh, topic, I guess. So I think that's all from my presentation today and thank you very much yes thank you very much Cesar Tino or we uh, usually call him Tino thank you for your sharings and with Tia Soropa from the Ukraine but before I would like to remind you if you have any questions to this Speaker, we have five speakers here, and also you may ask the questions to other participants here. You may turn on your microphone on the discussion sessions, or you can drop your questions on the chat box. So now we have our last speaker here. Last but not least, we would like to welcome Anastasia Soroka from the Ukraine. She was a Dharma Siswa student of Telkom University in 2019. So please welcome. Anastasia. Uh, hello, everyone. Good morning. Uh, in Ukraine, it's good morning. In Indonesia, it's good afternoon. Uh, first of all, I would like to introduce myself. Uh, my name is Anastasia Soroka. I am from Ukraine. Uh, and before I start uh, to express my opinion on this topic, uh, on the topic of tolerance, um, well, I want to say that I am a former participant of Dharma Siswa Scholarship Program. Uh, that's the program for international students who learn uh, Bahasa Dan Budaya Indonesia. So I'm learning uh, Bahasa Indonesia and I was studying uh, in Telkom University for uh, one year. Uh, and now that's my pleasure to speak to you today in this International Tolerance Day. So I hope you will enjoy my presentation. Uh, just a second, I'm sharing my screen. Okay, do you see my screen? Yes. Yes. Okay. Uh, wait a moment. Okay. So, uh, what is tolerance? 
Uh, well, to tolerance helps people to live together peacefully. So to my mind, to be tolerant uh, means that you accept other people's opinion, even if you um, don't uh, agree with that, and even if you do not understand that. Uh, so um, even you, if you are 100% sure that you are right, you do not put uh, your opinion above opinions of others. So that means tolerance. And uh, to my mind, there is nothing bad in this concept. Uh, I mean, intolerance. Uh, on the contrary, you uh, become uh, open to other ways of thinking and you uh, become open to the world in general with tolerance uh, so i think it helps you to develop yourself and to develop your personality mm. so tolerance makes you smarter and um the the other advantage of being tolerant uh, is um that it builds your curiosity about new ideas. Well, you are always uh, curious about new things. You are always uh, ready to learn something new. And as a conclusion, it makes you smarter because uh, you look at life like from different sides. Yeah. Uh, so also to be tolerant means uh, to be open towards uh, people from uh, other countries and other cultures, uh, not to judge them for their mentality or uh, for their ways uh, to live, uh, but just accept their uh, traditions and their customs. Mm, well, uh, speaking about my country, about Ukraine, uh, I would not say that absolutely all people in my country are tolerant. Uh, no, we are all different and uh, sometimes uh, people judge you for uh, the life you live, they judge you for decisions you make and um, well, some of them give you, try to give you uh, advices and mistakenly thinking that uh, the way uh, they live is only uh, correct, is only right. So, but uh, we are all different. And I think uh, in Ukraine, as well in different countries, uh, there is tolerance and there is intolerance. Uh, so um, I think it's all individually and um, all depends, nothing depends on country, all depends on person, his or her upbringing and uh, environment. Uh, well, although I'm still young, but in future, I think I will teach my children about tolerance. Uh, I'm definitely sure I will teach my children about tolerance, about uh, feeling of love and respect to others, uh, because uh, well, to be tolerant is not a simple thing to be a tolerant person because it requires a lot of work on your uh, mindset and well, however, if you want to live in a peaceful society, there is, uh, there is no alternative to tolerance. Well, uh, you guys choose to live with tolerance or no, but anyway, thank you for your attention. <laughs> Yes, thank you very much, Anastasia, for your sharing. So we already heard from our five speakers here about the tolerance. So we would like to once again invite all the participants to ask the questions. You may ask the questions directly to the speaker or drop your questions on the chat box. Yeah, and we will choose again one more uh one best questions yeah we will choose one best questions uh from the participant so uh is there any questions from the participants okay we have one questions 
here from Ignacio Champos. Uh, the question is for all the speakers. Okay. So uh, the question is for the for all speakers. Have you experienced being the target of intolerance? Okay. So I think we may heard from Cesaltino first. Okay, thank you for the question. Uh, in my own experience, I have never, never been targeted by someone about uh, intolerance between me and any other people. But uh, for, this is for me personally. Uh, mm -hmm. But uh, when I faced this situation, when I was in, if I'm not mistaken, I was in junior school school because of the um, like candidate myself to be uh, how to say it in English uh, K to OSIS of the <laughs> school mm -hmm. uh, junior high school because uh, between the candidates like we also make some campaign about this program therefore like the member of any other uh, of my opposite a uh, candidate like also uh, tell me something about like this or like that or like they want to make some conflict between me and their candidate i think only that's i experience in my uh, life since i was in uh, primary school until university now Okay, good. Next, uh, we're going to hear the answer from Anastasia. So, have you ever experienced being the target of intolerance? Uh, well, I have never uh, experienced being the target of intolerance, but uh, in general, I, I am always trying to avoid such situations with conflicts. I just try to escape a person if uh something goes wrong uh, between us so that's that's my uh way to behave in such situations mm -hmm. okay it's good to hear that you've never been a target of intolerance yes Tima, have you experienced Okay, I think I'm gonna answer two questions here because from the Siri Harrison, I get a questions. And the first one mm -hmm. is- Okay, maybe you, you may answer the first questions first. Right. Actually, I've never experienced intolerance because whenever the conflict comes out, I always end up with thinking positive about all the people who's surrounding me. Either anything like starting to be a conflict or something, I just, thing or giving them advice or listening to advice so being a positive i think it's more good and helps people a lot about being turning intolerance into tolerance and being good in all ways with anyone that's why staying positive for me mm -hmm. it's a nice thing i guess okay so by being positive so you will never be the target of intolerance. Good. Next, uh, how about Sopi? Have you ever experienced being the target of intolerance? Uh, no, I never experienced being the target of it, but I did experience it with a friend of mine. Uh, he was a Moroccan and he once applied for a job and he didn't get it because they kind of like discriminated him. So mm -hmm. it was kind of sad, but for me, no. Okay, it's good to hear that. So next, what about Ilham? Have you ever experienced being the target of intolerance um, in Indonesia or even okay. another country? Um, uh, I've never uh, been the target of the intolerance, but I uh, often see the intolerance on the social media, but... Uh, I, I um, the intolerance is not very good, but uh, but I, I always um, always believe that uh, if I respect to the people, the people will also respect me. I think that's all for me. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, as long as we respect questions, I think it's for, for uh, Tima. The question is uh, from Siri Harrison. I'm just curious. I want to ask about intolerance. It we, in which terms appears to be higher in Tajikistan? Is it about religion, ethnicity, other or other backgrounds? Yeah, actually, <clears throat> yeah, because intolerance. Actually, it's, if you say it's not really intolerance, because since I I was born, I, I can say that yeah, all the things that I'm following still it's still going to be like that. I don't know because we were after we getting out of uh, under the Russian circumstances. Maybe it was some conflict or something that didn't allow for the political things. So the background actually, I guess, is all about the polit politician. Because yeah, I didn't ask al also about anyone about the background, how the terms has been came. Because if you are from any religion, they fully respect you. The tolerance is number one, of course, in my country. You are Christian, you are, whatever is your religion doesn't matter because human being doesn't judge by religion or being from what what country are you from. But yeah, I can say that maybe it's about religion is a little bit hard in my country and it's political thing. So I'm just civilian as you, though I cannot add anything more. Mm, okay, so it's still about religion, yeah. So, uh... Um, yeah, we are still waiting for another participant to ask. You can also ask directly to the speaker by turn on your microphone. Is there any questions? We see here Muhammad Apri. Hello, Muhammad Apri. Are you there? Or Balkis, Jasmine Balkis. Yeah, if you want to ask questions by sending the questions in drop. Uh, in chat box, you may do that as well. Nikan or Intan. Okay, so while waiting for other uh, questions, I would like to ask to all the speakers. So how important then is it? So how important is it the tolerance in your life? Yeah, Ilham. Yeah, uh, as I said before. Ilham. Yeah, okay. yes, ma'am. Uh, as I said before, uh, the tolerance is important because when we when we want to get respected of or we want to get yeah respected by other people, we also have to tolerance or respect other people. So I think it's very important to be to become a uh, tolerant people. Mm -hmm. Okay, what about Sophie? Um, I didn't hear the question you asked. So, uh, how important is it, the tolerance in your life? Ah, okay. Um, I think it's really important because if I meet people in my life who are intolerant to each other, I don't know, I immediately like skip them out of my life because I don't think it's fair to judge people on, for example, religious. So for me, it's really important with it because I think it's also, um, like it's also like if you're fair to each other and fair for the world. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you, Sophie and Tima. What about you? Tolerance actually for human being is really important. It's my opinion. So why we need to like following all the tolerance? Because if you go like towards something, how we face it, yeah, it's gonna face us like we're going. It depends in our wish, actually, how we making that happen. Maybe if we respect, sure we get back respect. But if you like going to un disrespect them, so we get disrespect. So the important thing in to be like always like following the tolerance is we don't forget that we are all human being, I guess. So if respect, so we earn the respect back. That's all what I want to share. Yes, great. And then Anastasia, how about you? How important is it for you to be tolerant? Yeah, for me, as for previous speakers, it's also important 
And to my mind, um, tolerance is one of the signs of humanity. And uh, I also agree with Tima. Uh, when you uh, respect uh, other people, they will respect you back. So that. Yeah, okay. Do you know? And you, do you know? How about you? For me, uh, as we are a human being, we want to live together in peacefully. So mm -hmm. tolerance is very important for us, uh, especially like for young generation, as the success for the for its country, we have to be tolerant to any other people based, uh, don't look on their religion, race or ethnicities, but we have to respect them and they will so uh, so us back their respect. I think that's all. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you, Tino. So is there any other questions from the participant? We see here Muhammad Apri. And other, we have actually 60 participants here joining us. Or maybe I would like to give a chance also to the speaker, the international students, Tino, Anastasia, Tima, and Sopi Rekers, to ask a questions to the participants as well, because we have, I think most of them are in the nation. Telkom University students. So, if you have any questions to the participants, uh, yeah, regarding the tolerance, you may also ask. And for the participant who can answer the questions from the speaker, we'll give you the door prize as well. So, Tino, Anastasia, Sophie, or uh, Tima, do you have uh, any questions? Is there no questions? Oh, I have a question. Okay, Anastasia. Yeah. So, uh, in Indonesia, uh, at school, do you have some subject where uh, you are taught uh, tolerance? The SD mm -hmm. or SMP or SMR? Do you study it okay, the it or not? Okay, is there a subject about tolerance that being taught in elementary or uh, mm -hmm. high school. So is there any participant who can answer the questions from Anastasia? Yeah, we have a lot of Indonesian students here. Is there? Is there Ajeng or Muhammad Apri? Or we have uh, Andri Saputro here? No one? Okay, maybe we can I'm hear the uh, answer here. from Ilha. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay, Ilha. Yeah. Um, yeah, you may answer. Okay, uh, we uh, in the elementary school, I think we have that kind of subject, which is we call PPKN. It's about the warga negaraan or uh, nationality is also learn about how we live how we live with the other people and also in the um, religion subject also we learn about how we how we live together with the other people and the differences i think that's the answer okay thank you so much yes yes so uh, right yeah, that's right. So in Indonesia, we learn about tolerance in the subject of uh, nationality or in the subject of religion as well. We uh, learn about the tolerance. Okay, so we're going to choose elementary school or in high school? Uh, since elementary school, we learn about nationality and also religion. Start from the elementary school. Okay, so we have actually only two questions here from the chat box. Maybe I will ask Ibu Indah to choose one of the best questions. Although we only have two questions here. Yes, from Inacio and also from Siri. Okay, I think um, both our question is good, but the most interesting is I think from Inacio. So the door price goes to Inacio, I think. Mm -hmm. Okay, so congratulations 
for Inasia, you're going to get the um, e-money for 100,000 rupiah in the form of uh, OVO or link aja or GoPay, you just need to send us your number. So I think it's a really, really great uh, sharing today about the tolerance from our fifth uh, from our five uh, speaker is we have Cesaltino from Timor Leste, Anastasia from Ukraine, Fatullah Fikmatullah from Tajikistan, Sophie Rikers from the Netherlands, and also Ilham from Indonesia. So I would I would like to say thank you very much for all the speakers to join us today. And uh, yeah, so um, I think the uh, after class talk November series. Uh, episode six about celebrating International um, Tolerance Day uh, will be uh, over. And we would like to also thank you to all participants for joining us. But before, we would like to remind you to fill out the feedback to get an e-certificate. So you may find out the link on the chat box the link of feedbacks on the chat box. And actually we still have one uh, more episode on the after class talk December series. So if you would like to join, just stay tuned. And uh, don't forget to register. And now I would like to invite all of you to take a photo together. So kindly turn on all your cameras as our um, staff will Maybe capture think, them. Uh, so please turn on all the cameras. Iqbal raise his Iqbal. hand. I saw the symbol. Okay, Iqbal, are you there, Iqbal? Hello, Iqbal. It's, it was a oh, misclick. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I see. So kindly turn on your camera. So we are going to. Yeah, we are going to uh, take a photo together. So please all participants kindly turn on your camera. So we have a uh, Rashad here. Rashad will take the picture. Yeah, please turn on your camera. Yeah, Muhammad Apri, Daniel, Jasmine, uh, Niken, kindly turn on your camera. Yes, hello, Jasmine. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah, please, Rashad. Okay, we will start to document it. Uh, in smile, yeah, guys. In order in three, two, one, smile. Okay, again, once again. Three, two, one, smile. Okay, thank you all. Yes, thank you very much. So don't forget to fill out the feedback links to earn an e certificate. Thank you very much for joining us. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good evening, everyone. Thank you, Anastasia. Sophie, thank you so much for joining us. Anastasia yeah. Tino, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Ilham and also Tima. Thank you, thank you for joining, thank you. joining us. Yeah. Stay safe. Thank you.